Welcome to African Boss. Today uh, we're going to discuss about the Nilotic people who are one of the most fascinating group of people on the African continent. They have stunning features. They have uh, the darkest skin, the tallest, they are the tallest and also probably the, the most thin uh, group of people um, in the whole of Africa. They're the tallest in the world so they're quite fascinating they are one of the most distinct group of people but study wise they are neglected you don't hear too much of the nilotic people um, as much as we hear about say for instance the bantu tribes of africa or you know the maasai also part of the part of that group the maasai are um, so, but so, you know, others are well, well read, well studied, but not the neurotic. So they, they are tall, thin, and dark, as I said. And this is almost a universal truth to the tribe. You know, take for instance the Bantu. We have different heights, body shapes, and skin tones. But with the nilots, are the nilotics? They are very similar in their appearance. But who are the neurotic people? So the Nilotic people are mostly found along the Nile River. So they're indigenous to that to that valley. So they belong to the people uh, that they call Nile Saharan family. So they extend from East Africa into the West, uh, just close to the Lake Chad along that river now. So today we think of the modern day uh, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Tanzania. So among some of the more, more famous tribes of the Nilotics include the Karo people, Luo people, Ateka people, Karenjani people, Datoga, the Dinka, Nua, Atwot, Lothokto, and my speaking people. Now the term Nilotic itself is derived from the Nile River, more specifically the Upper Nile and its tributaries. Now this is why this is where most Nile Saharan speaking people live and also their language. So they speak Nilotic or Nilot or maybe Nilote or Nilot as they would say. This is quite important to know because it differentiates them from their neighbors with similar physical appearance with their numbers population wise depending on well where, where you study but we know that they are about anywhere between 8 million to 15 million concentrated in the south sudan oh, i did make a reference to the now uh saharan family but you know africa has a lot of languages you know so uh, the linguists so they classify africa into four major families so so they have the the first group is afro asiatic group the nile saharan which the um, nilotics belong to uh, the, the niger cordifanian and also the Corsian. we will look at some of these uh, later on in other episodes so the Nilotic are classified into the Nile Saharan group. The Nilotic, they have maintained their height due to the preservation of uh, marriages. You know, they marry amongst themselves. Like, you know that in case of a mixed race and ethnicity, they would have lost some of their huge heights. Say for instance, if somebody marries like a black person or marries into another, uh, into another tribe, uh, say a Bantu or say for instance a white person, the, this leads to uh, um, a, a baby with mixed genes from uh, uh, either uh, from both the parents and they, therefore they inherit just from both set of parents losing some and gaining some so they seem to have married amongst themselves to maintain their their genes now their lifestyle is quite interesting the Nilo, the Nilotic people up to date, they eat at night only. So the party, the feast begins at night, but during the day, 
they go about their own duties without any food and then in the evening they sit down around the fire before uh, they start to eat as if you go to south sudan uh they will is also known as the land of giants and the average height of the, the people are six four six feet four uh for the men and the women are about uh six feet tall and that is that is a very tall people uh the next possibly tallest uh african african people are the tutsis of rwanda so think of paul kagame and his family you know his daughter is so tall she stands at six four while well, Paul Kagame himself is around 6'2". He's not known why the Nyarodics are among us the tallest people on the planet, but you know, there are popular explanations. Uh, one of it is because of the diet, they eat lots of curries and meat, uh, you know, the, the legendary cattle haters. Okay, that might have caused that, but also another, um, on some other organic foods like fruits, another popular explanation is that uh, the features the tall skin and dark are there to avoid overheating because of the heat of the areas where they live is so hot uh, and if you are to overheat obviously uh, your body would uh, become incompatible with life and you die so over the years over hundreds and thousands of years they have evolved to be these um, uh, to have these features now a good example of a tall South Sudanese man is Manute Bo uh, of the South Sudan basketball team as well as the, the Denver Nuggets. He played for for that for the end for that NBA team. He stood at seven feet seven. That's seven seven. That is very very tall. I believe he is one. He is the tallest player to ever play in the nba other prominent uh nilotic people as you know they are in sport uh, making headway in basketball lots of sudanese or nilotic people origin uh, in the in the nba and other parts of the world as well uh, even in australia they are are there a few of the nilotic uh origin uh, south sudanese playing in the in their national sport there uh, they call it the footy it's a different kind of football but they're actually built for that sport so not only um in in, in the usa but in other parts of the world they're making really significant impact in sport uh is because of the way they're built as well as you know that the the kenyans as i said they share some of this gene pool and they are pretty good at uh at, at running especially long distance running they are just built for that sort of sport and also you know that today they are stunning models uh, making uh, making headlines on the runway that is uh, modeling uh, which is a, a a departure from beliefs that you know you have to be light skinned to be beautiful but some of these uh, but some of the uh, most of these women uh, from the narrotic uh, region are stunning no wonder they're making um, great great uh, strides in that modern world watching africa force my name is yao bantu and please if you're new here please subscribe and watch the rest of our videos for everything african educational and entertainment please look at the rest of our videos thank you and have a great day